Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Cognizant Aptitude exam. As you know guys, on 20th of August it is going to be held and on 21st of August onwards you will be having the aptitude round. So if in case in your college it is not happening within these days then don't worry, the exam is going to be conducted after that. That means they are hiring for August and September. So your exam will be scheduled within this day so don't worry if you have not got the mail okay so now let me discuss about the important aptitude questions i hope you have go you have been going through our playlist of apt uh, cognizant and you got to know that what are the important topics what are the important chapters so let me discuss some mixed questions which has been asked earlier and the sample questions which can be ex like expected questions for aptitude round of cognizant okay so let me discuss those but before that guys please do subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want it can be uh, cognizant accenture capgemini deloitte as you know guys uh, people are asking me like how, how to prepare for the on-campus drive you have to go through the latest questions previous year questions and you have to give the mock test you have to go through the interview preparations interview experience of the last year candidates right so if you want all of these in a bundle then please go through top mate tire slash technology you have there you can find all of the companies provided there so just go through that and use coupon code india you can fetch a 50 percent flat off okay so let me discuss the important questions of cognizant so you can see this is the first question shown to you in your screen so the question is a and b are at a distance of 800 meter they start towards each other at 20 and 24 kilometer per hour as they start a bird sitting on the cap of a so let me draw it for you so that it will be easy to imagine okay so let's say a is starting here and b is here so they are going towards each other and distance between them is 800 meter now a bird is sitting on the cap of a so here one bird is there that starts flying towards b touches b then returns towards a and so on so it will keep going and coming keep going and coming until or unless they meet each other so when will they meet we have to calculate that so if the distance is 800 meter and if the speed of the bird bird is 176 kilometer per hour per hour what is the relative distance of a and b that is as they are going coming towards each other so 20 and 24 so the relative speed will be 20 plus 24 that is uh 40 4 so ratio of ratio of the their speed like a and b speed is 44 and the bird's speed is 176 km per hour now what is the ratio that is 1 is to 44 into uh, 4 is equal to 176 so ratio of the speed is 1 is to 4 now if let's say uh, they take one minute to reach 800 meter so if they if they cross 800 meter in one unit then in four unit how much distance they will cover uh, the bird will cover the bird will cover 800 into four that is 300 3200 okay so i hope you understood that that means the relative speed of a and b is uh, 44 right and the total speed of the bird is 176 km per hour so if they needs they need one unit to reach 800 meter then the bird will cross four times of the distance okay so that that's why 800 into 4 that is 3200 is the answer so i hope your answer is also same option b is the correct answer so let me go to the next question the next question is shown to you in the screen how long will a boy take to run around a square field of sight 35 meters if he runs at the rate of 9 km per hour speed distance time this is also an important chapter as they will ask more quants question okay so how long will a boy take to run around the square field that is square field 35 kilometer th sorry 35 meter is the distance of the side okay a is equal to 35 each if he runs at the rate of 9 km per hour speed is equal to 9 km per hour now 
you can see 35 meters this is in meter so we have to convert this speed into meter how can you do that that's 9 into 1000 that is in meter kilometer is in meter and hour in second one hour is equal to 3600 seconds so if i just simplify this then it will become 5 by uh, 18 5 by 18 and 9 into 2 that is 18 5 by 2 okay so speed of the uh, speed of that boy is equal to 5 by 2 meter per second now what they have asked he, if he runs at this rate then how long will a boy take to run the time taken this is the question right so what's the time time is equal to what so speed is equal to distance by time so time is equal to distance by speed so what's the distance that is 35 into 4 total distance so 35 35 35 35 so this is the total distance so 35 into 4 by the time sorry by the speed so speed is 5 by 2 5 by 2 so 35 into 4 is equal to um 140 i hope this is visible to you 140 into 2 by 5 so that is 280 by so 5 fives are 25 and 3 0 5 6 are 6 uh, 30 so 5 56 second is the required time so option c will be the correct option i hope your answer is also same guys so guys if you have any questions like how to prepare for aptitude how to prepare like uh, and what to prepare then the one stop solution is uh, this material in which you will get all the aptitude questions asked previously and there will be some shortcut tricks provided and also all the required links in which you will get all the accesses so please go through that because there you can access the communication assessment aptitude dot net java python coding sql html CSS, javascript mock test interview experience everything you need you need to prepare for that okay so please go through that and have the opportunity to get a job at cognizant okay so let me discuss the next question that is um, okay so the next question is this uh, the bar graph given below shows the percentage distribution of the total expenditures of a company under various expenses uh, expense heads during 2003 this is the graph shown to you and these are the percentage for all of these expenses like r d taxes advertisement transport infrastructure salary and then this loans okay now if the question is if the expenditure of uh, on advent advertisement is 2.10 crores then the difference between the expenditure on transport and taxes is what so please pause the video and try to give the answer in the comment sections I hope this is properly visible to you okay so let me give the answer the question is the difference between the expenditure on transport and taxes so transport is provided like 12.5 percent and taxes is 10 percent what is the difference between the percentage of them that is 12.5 minus 10 is equal to 2.5 percent this is the difference of their percentage but what is the amount we don't know but there is another data given that is expenditure on advertisement it is given let me check what is the total if we get total expenditure then we can calculate the difference of this right so if we get total expenditure then we can calculate the amount of the difference between expenditure of transport and taxes okay so let's say the total is equal to x total expenditure is equal to x and it is written that that expenditure on advertisement is equal to 2.10 so advertisement cost is equal to 15 percent so 15 percent of total expenditure is equal to it is given 2.10 I hope you understood so 15 percent of x means 15 by 100 into x is equal to 2.10 right so now if we can write x is equal to 2.10 so if we multiply by 100 then it would be 210 
and by 15 so it will be equal to 1 4 so 15 into 14 is equal to 210 now if the total percentage total expenditure is equal to 14 crores total expenditure is equal to 14 crores now what is the 2.5 percent of 14 crores that is the distance this is the expected value expected value is 2.5 percent of 14 crores this is the expected uh, answer right so let me just tell uh, let me show you one shortcut trick that is we want 2.5 percent of 14 crores right so what is the 100 percent of 14 that is 14 50 percent of that is equal to 7 what is that 25 percent that is equal to 3.5 crores right now if we write 2.5 if we want 2.5 then this so the point was at the right side of 25 it it comes to, it shifted to the left side and this also should be shifted to the left side so this will be 0 0.35 crores so that is equal to 3 point like 35 lakhs okay so i hope you understood how we got the answer that is option d is the correct answer if you have any questions please drop your comment i'll try to answer in the comment section as well as if you want uh, technical questions more then please comment down that i want more technical questions coding questions or mock test or anything then please comment down okay okay so this is the next question what is the ratio of the total expenditure on infrastructure and transport to the total expenditure on taxes and interest on loans 5 is to 4 8 is to 7 9 is to 7 or 13 is to 7 please give the answer in the comment section after watching this graph shown to you as you know guys there will be total four types of graphs asked to you so please be prepared accordingly okay and we have been uploading the videos of pie chart line charts table charts etc etc so please go through that okay so what's the ratio uh we have been provided with nothing no data is provided ratio of the total expenditure on infrastructure and transport so infrastructure and transport is equal to 12 12.5 uh, 12 plus 20 um infrastructure and transport is equal to 20 plus 12.5 so that is 32.5 this is the total percentage of these two infrastructure and transport and total expenditure of taxes and interest is equal to taxes and interest is equal to taxes and interest on loans this is 10 plus 17.5 that is 27.5 so this is the ratio you have to calculate okay so 32.5 is to 27.5 so now what will be the ratio that is just uh, simplify this and just divide by 5 then 25 then it will become 25 1 then 75 20 uh, 25 into 3 75 25 1 then 25 3 sorry 25 1 25 uh, then 75 sorry it should be 1 okay 13 it 13 is to one, uh, 11 so that should be the correct option okay i hope in your case also the answer is same so please let me go to the next question guys please join our telegram channel t.me slash we can now there we have uh, discussed very important things so if you want to discuss also please join there and uh, let just uh, clear all of your doubts right okay the total amount of expenditure of the company is how many times of expenditure on research and developments so you have to know what's the total expenditures right how to know that total amount of expenditures of the company is how many times of expenditure on research and development okay so let's just uh, assume that total expenditure is equal to x okay now we have to calculate about the research and development what's that 
that is five percent of the total okay so five percent of the total this is the r and d expenditure right this is the r and d expenditure that is five percent of x and this is the total expenditure we have to calculate that this is how much uh, times of this okay so we have to calculate that so let's calculate that we have to actually get the ratio of those so total expenditure is to the r and d expenditure okay so it will become like uh, it will become like five percent of x so that will become five by 100x okay 5 by 20 so x by 20 okay so 20 is to 1 so it will be 20 times okay the total amount of expenditure of the company is 20 times of the expenditure on research and development total expenditure is 20 times of r and d okay so i hope you understood this question as well so let me just give you some important insight about the aptitude round guys if you have not watched in any case then you have to know that there are few important chapters to quick practice that is at first obviously data interpretations then probability and probability then permutation and combination then percentage average then uh, some geometric question also speed time and distance work and lcm hcf and actually these are very important chapters and apart from this also they will ask few questions from quants chapters but still still these are the first priority okay and after that you will be having the game based aptitude and as i have already discussed about this please go through the like last videos which i already uploaded please go through that you will get to know about these and also uh, like you can uh, you can get the instructions from the mail as well that they have changed one pattern for technical round they will ask java mcq as well also python mcq so as the as they have changed the pattern so we have also included those important questions in our material so if you are a prime holder then please go through those and if you are not then please have the prime materials from topnet.ias.com there you can get everything you need to prepare okay so thank you for today's session